Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to chat with the both of you, Madison and Andrew. Thank you for joining me. I briefly met Andrew at the Wait With Me premiere in Denver, had the best time. Um, I thought that it was literally like such a perfect book adaptation. I'm a huge fan of passion flicks and you guys absolutely killed it. Your chemistry was amazing. Madison, you were definitely missed at the premiere, but I know you were currently working on another big thing. So I'm just so happy that I could just chat with the two of you today. Thank you for coming on. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks for having me. Thank you so much, Lauren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good to see the two of the two of you together. Um, so Andrew, after the Q and A, mentioned that the two of you had previously worked together. I think I kind of just want to start from the beginning. Where did the two of you first meet? And then tell me what the chemistry read was like for Passion Flicks. So Madison, I'll begin with you. Where did you and Andrew first meet? Yeah, so we first met a couple months before Wait With Me on this other project. I Correct me if I'm wrong, was it called, what was it called again? X Factor? It, 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 it was called X Factor Factor Fiction with Jonathan, Jonathan Frakes. Okay, yeah, so it's like this, yeah. they present five different little stories in an episode. Some of them are true, some of them aren't, and they kind of act out these crimes, and we were in one of these little vignettes. Um, and it was just a one day shoot and Andrew played the serial killer um, who was trying to murder me. So that was our first introduction to each other. So quite different than, than Wait With Me. Oh my God, that's crazy. I was curious what project it was. Andrew, talk to me about the chemistry read with Madison. Was it virtual? Was it in person? So yeah, we, we hopped on a call um, I think it was Zoom or something with uh, Colleen Davy James, the director, and um, Madison and I already kind of we had a rapport with each other, and so it was we were we were talking before we even did that because um, I think she messaged me on Instagram and she was like, "Oh my God, you're playing opposite of me in in this film," and it was it was it's just a crazy coincidence, you know. But um, but the chemistry read I think was I think it went really well just because we had that experience together prior to everything so it was it was honestly just like the perfect storm I guess Madison talk to me about the chemistry read did you feel the same way yeah you know I think <laughs> it went so bad I don't know <laughs> you guys are just the best actors ever it was horrible <laughs> I was like please let this not no yeah um yeah it was awesome it was just a really natural fit and obviously Andrew is so easy to just get along with um and we already had a slight rapport before so it felt really natural and yeah I was really excited that Andrew got to play Miles yeah yeah no of course um I know that also during the Q&A after the premiere Andrew mentioned that you guys had ton of rehearsal time before production, which I know I speak to a lot of actors and sometimes like they're we're like, we don't get any rehearsal time. Filming just starts right away. So how essential was that to your performances? How long was the rehearsal time exactly before you guys officially started filming? Do you know? Yes. It was a, <laughs> you go. sorry. No, 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 you go, you go, you go. <laughs> I was, you go. <laughs> We, we had like a full week to hang out and we worked on scenes with uh, Colleen like privately at the hotels that we were staying at. And, but yeah, we got, we went and saw um, Ticket to Paradise. Like we, we just hung out and just got to know each other better. And um, I think it, it, it just, yeah, it created that on-screen chemistry that we needed to, so I, I think it was just, it was fantastic that we got that full week together. Yeah, I agree. I think even more so than running the scenes. We talked about the script constantly, but I think just building a comfortability with each other is so important so that you feel like when you're doing this these scenes with somebody, you feel comfortable and you can play off of each other. And I think just having the time to get to know each other that first week made a huge difference for sure. For sure. Um, and I know that Amy was on set the, pretty much the whole time, the author. I'm curious for you, Sometimes like with actors, they get a little nervous when the creator of the character is on set. Um, but how did you guys get nervous because of that? Or did it, did it help you in any way? Andrew, I'll begin with you. How was it having Amy on set? And did you, did you frequently go to her for questions or did she come up to you after scenes? How did that work? 
Um, I absolutely loved it that she was on set. I, I already knew Amy prior to filming. We never met in person, but we spoke um, through uh, social media, mainly Instagram, uh, quite a bit. Like, I think it was like two years prior to even them filming this. Um, so, I, yeah, it was awesome. Like, I anytime I had any questions about like, I, I anytime, like, in the book, it was dual point of view. So like you, it really is like miles. You can hear his thoughts throughout most of the scenes, but getting just to go up to her and really like dig into that with her and, and mull over that. It was, it, I thought it, it helped so much. Um, and she's hilarious. Like we were laughing. Like the, I feel like the whole time we were making that movie, we were just cracking jokes, but um, yeah, I, I think it was a, uh, uh, a huge part of why the movie turned out so well is that she was on set. Madison, do you agree? Because I mean, like, yeah, the book is is both Miles and Kate, but we start learning it from Kate's point of view. Of course, she's also an author and Amy, I feel like kind of like based a lot of this on her experience, like she was saying. So for you playing this role, how did that help you on set? Yeah, I mean, you know, I definitely was nervous because it is, it's so close to Amy and it is her brainchild. And I really wanted to do her version of Kate justice and what, however she imagined Kate, I wanted to be that for her. And so I was nervous initially. I wanted to live up to her expectations, but she just made me feel so confident. And I think she supported us so much and was like, no, you are her. And that allowed me, I think, the freedom to play and kind of having her validation and words of encouragement in real time was so nice I think it would have been really nerve-wracking to have filmed it and then after have her see it and be like oh I hope she likes it it was it was really nice to know that as we were going she was super happy and that's all that I could ask for in that moment and yeah I think the fact that she's an author and my character is an author I just wanted to make sure that I was you know being as honest and and true to the book as I could be um but I loved having Amy on set. She was amazing. She's amazing. She's just so encouraging. She's honestly one of the coolest authors I've ever met. It's it's great that you guys had someone who was like a really true like collaborator, right, Andrew? Yeah. Yeah. And I and I feel like after every time we did a scene, like especially the important ones, like uh I feel like Madison and I would like look over at Amy and be like, is how, what does she think right now? What is did she like that? And so it it was just, it was honestly like just such a wonderful experience to have her on set because I feel like I've never been on a production where like even the writers are that involved at all. So wow. um, it was just, it was, it was a cool experience. Um, right. I, yeah, no, I, I love that. So with filming this movie, obviously like it's a super sexy book, super sexy story. You guys have a lot of intimate scenes together. But did you film not linearly? I'm curious because you're you guys are so great in the intimate scenes. Did you guys film those more towards the end of production, or did you just kind of hop right in? Because a lot of productions are like we kind of held this for this week and did the get to know each other scenes before. How did that work with filming the intimacy scenes, Madison? I'll begin with you. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to remember because it is a jumble because we do yeah. not film in order. Um, right. I think those landed in the middle, if I remember correctly. Um, the first week was all the Tire Depot stuff. Mm -hmm. And then the second week we moved into our houses. Um, so yeah, I think it was in the middle, which was nice to kind of have the first week out of the way and get some scenes laid down. Um, and I think that def definitely helped with us just being comfortable and having an intimacy coordinator was amazing. And I love that that's a thing that Passion Flicks really you know, feel strongly about making their actors feel comfortable. And um, yeah, it was good. We had a good support system. And is it a closed set, Andrew, for the, is it like it's less people on set, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be like the mandatory people in order to get the shots needed. But um, yeah, I mean, the intimacy coordinator was amazing and uh, she just made us feel really comfortable. And, and honestly, this was like my first time ever doing um, anything like this on, uh, and I haven't done anything this intimate on camera before. So yeah. Um, I'm just really thankful it was Madison because yeah, she, she made me feel comfortable. And it, it honestly, like I keep saying this, like it, every, it was just like everything just worked and it was like, kind of like a perfect storm. So. I love that. I have to say, I mean, all of those scenes are beautiful, but I've seen the film twice now. And I think that my favorite scene 
is when Miles finds out about Kate's real name. That's the scene we're looking for in the book. It's the scene like we're looking for in this movie and you guys just killed it. You were so electric in that scene. But I'm curious how many times you filmed that and if you know which take ended up in the film because it's a very emotional scene and a big buildup so, and you guys were fantastic in it. Do you remember how many times you filmed that? Because I'm sure it was kind of an emotional pull to keep filming that scene. Do you remember, Madison, how many times you filmed it? You know, not a ton. I think we probably filmed each person's coverage three times. Um, That's and not many times, yeah. So, and it was cold, and but it was nice because there was momentum going into the scene. We had energy to move with, and I think that helped a lot to keep the energy up as we were filming. Um, but no, it was kind of satisfying in a way because we just got to like be in it fully and then Colleen was like we got it and we could switch around and and the way in which we shot it we shot it with a steady camera too which kind of makes it nice so it's not like there's room for movement there's room for some kind of improv in there um and some freedom and fluidity so I think we only did three takes each wow yeah. That's that's shocking. I was like, they probably had to do this 10 times and Andrew's probably just like so over like being like so emotionally involved. But Andrew, what was that experience like for you? Because it's it's like kind of like the turning point for Miles's character in the relationship. Yeah. Um, I, I It was really one of the most satisfying scenes. I mean, like, obviously, the emotions can be like tolling on you. Um, but what what I loved about it was we just like usually this never happens everything's shot out of order but we did all the bar stuff like where i punched dreisten like we did that right before that um and i was still kind of carrying that energy um leaving the bar and they kind of they set up fairly quickly outside because it was one of the last shots we were getting that day it was really cold outside um so i felt like they were pretty quick and uh I just remember Madison and I kind of went off into our own little corners out or inside of that door that we come flying out of. Yeah. And she gave me space to kind of get into that um, headspace that I needed to be in. And she was in hers. And um, it was just, I, I was just really satisfied with how that scene turned out. And again, that once we got that, the, like the final shot and Colleen said that we got it. I remember looking over at Amy and she was like tears in her eyes and stuff. And that was like, I was like, okay, we, we got it. Like I, that just, that filled me with so much joy to see how happy she was. Yeah. Um, so it was, it, it was a hard scene to do, but it was one of the most satisfying ones that during the whole filming. So. I love that. Well, you got, I obviously got a ton of fan questions for you guys. There's so many fans that love this movie, calling it one of their favorite passion flicks films, like the hottest passion flicks film. So let me see. Kimberly wanted to know how cold the water was when you were filming that lake scene. Was it cold? Because you guys were in Georgia and I don't know what time if you, yeah, if you were filming maybe last fall, how cold was that lake scene, Madison? So this was a whole thing. Oh, um, <laughs> There was much deliberation about where we were going to shoot the lake scene. Initially, we were supposed to shoot that more towards the beginning of filming. For whatever reason, it got pushed back. And then it just started getting really cold. And the <laughs> stunt coordinator and SAG, they're like, we think it might be too cold to actually have them in the water. And we were trying to figure out wetsuits, but then dialogue. So we got pretty lucky. We actually got to shoot inside a scuba diving facility in this warm saltwater pool. Um, that was really cool. It was actually one of my favorite scenes to film for that reason. So it was actually quite pleasant. A warm saltwater pool, sign me up. I know. <laughs> It's like a day it's spot. <laughs> yeah yeah so Andrew so that so that was done in a warm saltwater pool how long was the filming of that particular scene because that was obviously like iconic in the film too um I it took them a, like I feel like it took them like an hour or so to set up everything because they had to put these like black backdrops to make it look like we were in a lake and stuff but I felt like it was pretty quick I like again, we were just relaxing in a warm pool. So like, I don't know, it, 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 it felt like it was fairly quick, but, um, but yeah, I, uh, I remember I kept saying like, oh yeah, I'll jump in the lake. I'll do it. I'll do it. And, and I could see that Mad Madison was really hesitant towards that, but I was like, oh no, we'll, like, we'll be fine. And I'm so happy we didn't. Cause it was when we just shot the fishing scene, I, it was freezing outside. And I, I had a bunch of layers on and she's wearing like these little shorts because it's supposed to be not the middle of like winter um but uh it was 
I'm really thankful that we we got to shoot in that because it was a really relaxing scene and day overall. So that's movie magic right there for you. <laughs> yeah. Sheena Lee wanted to know what the two of you liked most about working with each other. I know you guys kind of like are been you know fanning over each other the, during this interview, which I absolutely love, and I love that you guys love working together. But Andrew, what did you love? most about working with Madison as your co-star? Um, out of everybody that I've I've had the opportunity to work with, she's like one of the most talented actors that I've got to just, I like I literally was learning while we were doing scenes, just watching her. So I, this was just a, a great learning experience for me. Um, and as you all can see, she's like, she's just fantastic in the film. And if you've seen any of her other um, work, I, I watched Juniper, uh, while we were, it was like the first week of rehearsals. I ended up watching that, um, and it it was uh, it's such a good film. So I definitely recommend anyone if they haven't seen that yet to watch Juniper. It's on Showtime's. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. That Madison, you have like your number one. Yeah, yeah, on my payroll. Um. Uh, yeah, what did you love most about working with Andrew? Because I like you guys have worked together before. I mean, I know that you've worked on tons of other projects, but if, for this particular film, what did you enjoy most about working with Andrew? I mean, there's so many things. Um, Andrew was, I have said this many times, but I'm so grateful that the person that I got to do this movie with was Andrew. He's so talented he really cares about the work he works really hard but he also injects an element of fun into everything that we did which was really nice for me because I think sometimes I can get like kind of serious and Andrew is just such a light in every single situation he's in and he brings this energy and enthusiasm that I know is infectious amongst the entire crew and I think when the days are long and you're feeling cold and you're in booty shorts like Andrew just just brightens up the day and and he just takes everything really seriously and is really invested and I just yeah I felt really lucky really lucky it's awesome that the both of you really cared about the fans and the author and what these and who these characters should be and can I say you guys both had amazing hair in the movie you have amazing hair right now Madison I was just like looking at your gorgeous red hair throughout the whole movie and just like I'm just like oh my god like her hair is amazing thank you it's I, this I love this scene also um when she when she doesn't have Kate does didn't eat and she's fainting I'm like is Andrew actually catching her in that or is that movie magic too <laughs> you actually did yeah yeah but we had a pad on the ground so I wasn't dropping to my knees onto like a hardwood floor um but we did a couple takes where you actually fell back and they tried to catch that movement um and then we would do a pickup shot of where we were already, we were on the ground. So, um, but yeah. A little bit of both. A little bit of both, yeah. yeah. Last couple of questions for you. Do you have any idea what's going to be happening with Next in Line? I know that the series follows other characters as well. I've only actually read the first book, but have you? do you have any idea if that's gonna be happening? <clears throat> Well, uh, I mean, at the premiere, Tosca said she was like, she said that they would make them as long as all the original cast would come back. So I think this is really, uh, this is um, in Lathe's, uh, uh, this is up to Lathe, really, I think. So if we all just send him like 5 million messages saying, do it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Lathe, Lathe is who played uh, Sam, my best friend. So I think it's really okay. up to him, ultimately, I think. Right. Right, because he's in the next book. Um, so what is next for each of you? Madison, are you allowed to say what project you're working on right now or not yet? I'm not sure about that, but I have a couple I other things coming down the pipeline. I, I have a couple films. Well, I have a, I'm, I'm scattered. Um, I have a <laughs> series coming out on Freebie on May 1st. Um, that's fun. It's called Casa Grande. It's very Yellowstone-esque in tone, very dramatic very intense so you should check that out um I also have a film that I really care about that um I shot in 2021 that I just did a ADR for and I'm not sure what its release looks like but I'm really excited for that to come out so um yeah that's called God Loves the Green Bay Packers when we filmed it the title might change I don't know but yeah those are kind of two projects I have come down the pipeline pretty soon 
I love it's so crazy to me when actors film something years before and it finally comes out and then you have to promote it and you're like I don't even remember what my mindset was when I was filming it so true I know there's detail yeah it's I just almost have to go back and reread the script sometimes I'm like what happened <laughs> Andrew what's next for you uh I'm I'm unemployed right now uh free agent so, yeah, no I I've just been auditioning and just uh trying to stay busy taking care of my dogs um I'm actually kind of enjoying the downtime um I'm just I'm just home with my all my animals so uh it's yeah I mean nothing right now hopefully they make the rest of the books that would be cool but um but yeah that's that's pretty much it. I'm not as cool as Madison. <laughs> no, there's there's literally nothing wrong with downtime. Um, and so last question for the two of you. I love that in the book in the movie, Kate's like happy place is the tire shop. She goes there to work, to unwind. This is her happy place. What are each of your happy places? Madison, I'll begin with you. Do you have a pit? Maybe it is home. For me, it, it is sort of home with my dogs, though I love you know staying in southern california too for work but what's what's that one destination for you where you feel like you can kind of unwind or and or get work done and or just relax i love that question i of all the questions we've gotten i haven't gotten that one before um <laughs> and a good question i think there's a couple different answers to this but i think um some I'm from the Black Hills in South Dakota, and I grew up in the country, kind of no neighbors. And whenever I'm back in the Black Hills, especially in the fall or the summer, and I'm just kind of alone in the woods, and it's you can hear the wind in the trees, and it's this kind of um, but full, I don't know, soundscape that's happening. There's a sense of calm that comes over me in places like that that I can experience nowhere else and I think living in LA I miss that sense of calm so much and whenever I'm somewhere that feels like that that feels like my safe space and that doesn't have to just be in South Dakota I think um that can happen in in all over the world but it's sort of that feeling of being alone amongst massive trees and sort of I don't know feeling really small that for some reason makes me feel really safe I love that. And I didn't realize you were from South Dakota too, because isn't that where Amy's from as well? Yeah. She no, lived weird. there. You, it's yeah. like, you were really like perfect for this role. It's actually unbelievable. <laughs> Andrew, what is that one place for you where you feel like you can relax or unwind or just like literally have you time? Um, I mean, I'm a homebody, so I, I would say it's probably my home. Um, I, I love being with my, my two dogs and my cat. Um, so yeah, home, but I, I also hearing Madison say all that, that's, that sounded fantastic. So maybe that too. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to go to South Dakota. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you both so much for your time today. I absolutely loved this movie. I thought your performances were completely natural. You to completely disappeared into these characters. And I really just felt like I was just watching the book that I had just read come to life on screen. It was just such a beautiful adaptation. So again, congratulations to the both of you. And I will be a fan for life and support all of your projects. So thank you so much for your time today. And like I said, I love the movie and I hope that you two do more with Passion Flicks as well. They're a great studio. I've always been kind to me and um, I loved that. I loved your work in this film. Truly did. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lauren.